Hey guys, welcome back. This is eighth part of our Linux monitoring with Zabbix. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create actions. Okay, in our previous video, I have shown you how to set up the email system for Zabbix so you can send emails from your local domain to uh, external domains such as Gmail or Hotmail.com or something like that. Okay, so in order to create actions, you are going to go to configurations okay and click actions if you remember uh, like I don't know if I have shown this to you but anyway I have created this action earlier but uh, let me just okay let's create one more action so to, in, to create a new action click create action okay give it a name so action is basically when trigger happens what action you want to take for that specific trigger okay this is what action means so let's say i want my first action for trigger one let's say you can just give it any name okay and enable you can add it but first we need to meet some conditions okay so condition is a and b so the thing is like when maintenance status is not in maintenance and the trigger value has some problem so okay then this action will be in effect okay so what operations would you like operations i want like in 60 seconds actually click here new okay here uh, this is fine from one to one okay fine and here you can from here you can s send the message or uh, like send a remote command so in order to for example you your server has stopped working you can add here a command like service uh, start or specific uh, command you like but we want to send the message okay we don't want to send it to a, a user group we need to send it to our uh, specific user so click here and I selected admin okay so this is done or send only to Zabbix new you see if you remember we created this Zabbix new in our previous video okay so this is done and add okay what is the pro oh, as always first we need to add here okay now this condition is done action is done okay you can leave it as it is or just search for uh, like your favorite search engine how to uh, change these values okay so okay everything is good so now what we are going to do is go to actions and I am going to delete this one okay so let's go to let's create some triggers okay so what we can do we can just go to monitor triggers so okay basically this trigger is saying that um, like if Cisco uh, port status for port one is down uh, you need to take a specific action okay or let let me show you like how we can take that action actually let's go back to this um, configuration and actions go back to this the action which we created okay I think I just lost it I just created the action and okay 
All right. Okay, let's create it again. Create action. Like my first action for triggers. Okay. This is fine. Operation was 60 seconds. I'm just repeating the steps and only to the big step. Okay. Seriously. Okay, here my first action is enabled. Okay, now let's create a trigger. Monitoring triggers. Okay, so if we go to this events, at the moment everything is okay. So there's not there's no going uh, there's no trigger going to be in effect. But let's create a trigger now. Let's go to triggers configuration, and I'm going to change its status from OK to not OK, or the operator status is operating status is down. Update monitoring events. Okay, now we need to wait for one minute. Oh, it's fast. So there's a problem. You can say. You can see it, and soon an uh, action is uh, should take should be okay. So you can see that action has been taken, and a result should be. We should receive an email over here. Perfect. You can see that problem status. Zabex monitoring system okay and you can add some uh, like subject whatever you like uh, to your um, that email but here you can see that the problem is with operating uh, operation status of Cisco switch one port one and email came from Zabbix monitoring system so I hope this has been informative and I hope I was able to teach you guys something so let's let's and make its operation back to normal and if we go to events monitoring events and soon you will see that the problem has been resolved let's just refresh And the status will change back to normal or okay. okay. Usually takes one minute. Perfect. So that's it. And please subscribe to my videos. I hope. I have completed Zabbix monitoring but we need to check one more thing in my ninth video where I'm going to install Zabbix agent and then we will finish this uh, session of our Zabbix monitoring. Thank you very much for watching and see you in next video.